Okay, so you're going to leave your Chromebook open to the slideshow with um, your historical picture and then just um, kind of put that down by doing the minimize sign and then go to your launcher when you're in room 13 and type in camera and that will bring you to the camera app. And then you want to uh, position yourself so that you have just green behind you. So you want to tilt your camera and you want to get your body how you want it. Some of you are going to want your whole body and mine. I just am going to put my head and shoulders behind the sign. Um, fix like your hair so it's not crazy. I just had bust duty. And then you want to make sure that your facial expression matches what you want. So I'm going to look right at the camera. Take the picture. And then click on the thumbnail here. And you can save it by um, highlighting the name there and erasing that. And then I'm going to put EAP, my initials, and green for my background. Oh, that file already exists because I've done this several times. But, okay, so I'll put E green and push enter. That will save it. Then you click X by, to get out of this picture and then X to get out of the camera app. And then go back to Chrome. And you're going to go um, to a new tab by clicking the plus sign. And then I want you to type in up here in the address bar, Luna, L-U-N-A, pick, P-I-C. And then you're going to scroll down, lunapick.com. Scroll down in the first column here, it says transparent. Click that. And then you need to choose a file right here. So I'm going to click that. And the file that I want is E green. Mine's right there at the top. But if you can't find yours, you can use the magnifying glass and type in E green. You're going to click on that. And you should be able to see your open button. Once you've highlighted that, then click open. And it'll bring it up. Now, it says make the background transparent by clicking on it. So I'm just going to click on a color of green. And that takes away most of my green. But I'm going to make it take away a little bit more of that green. And that looks pretty good. Um, I could probably just go just a little bit further. And then click apply to make it save that. And then if there's anywhere, like in some of them, I had like green right here. I could, like there's a little green right here. I click on that and it'll make that color disappear too. And then just make sure you click save or apply, I guess it is, and then go down and push save right here. It's going to make your picture pop up right here. And I want to change the name of that. So I just clicked on the name. And then right here, I'm going to type in E and then blank for blank background and push enter. Then I can easily find this. You could even just call this two and you would be able to find it. And then just exit out of that. Now I'm done with this Luna pick and I can go back to my slideshow. When I'm on the right um, slide, don't be on your photo because it'll replace your photo. So just go right here, click insert, image, upload from your computer. And then I want the E blank. And you should be able to see open right away, but I've got a little thing covering up mine. And right now it's on there, but it's way too big. So I'm gonna slide it over here so I can work with it. I want to make it much smaller so it fits my person's body. And then I think I'm going to want it. You can use your arrows too. I guess I want it just a little bit smaller. My shoulders look a little bigger than his. It's pretty good. If you want to twist it, you can twist it just a little bit here at the top to get the angle right. So I'm going to angle it just a little bit and then arrow up to get it in the right spot. You can drag it too with your mouse. And I think that's pretty good. All right, then I push enter and I am done. And that is how you use a green screen to create your um, photo in, you should put your photo into the actual historical photo. I can't wait to see what you create.